Today, AI is absolutely insane and you can use Claw 3.5 Sonnet for free, plus build games, tools, websites, apps, completely free and you don't even need to use your terminal. This is the only coder that I've seen actually does this and it is so easy to use. For example, if we say create a snake game using WebStack, it's going to create it, we can preview it, we can test it, and then we can host it. And just going from idea, not being able to code, and then building anything you want is unbelievably easy. Plus, not only do you get Claw 3.5 Sonic, but you also get GPT-4.0 as a coder right here. And it's just, it's awesome. Come, if you didn't realize already, this actually comes from TikTok. So it's a Chinese AI, ByteDance, who are the parent company of TikTok, right? And it's completely free to use. There's no other AI coder that I know of that basically competes with Bolt or Cursor or anything like that, where you can build out anything that you want using an unlimited version of Claw 3.5 Sonic. Like, it doesn't cost you anything. Crazy stuff. You can see here, for example, this app is being built really quick and easy. You can code it all locally as well, which is great. And you can download it with a one-click install. You just go to Trey, T-R-A-E dot A-I, then download from Mac OS. And boom shakalaka, it's ready to go, my friends. So let's say you want to start up a new project. What we can do is we can actually click on open new folder. We'll call this one to-do list. I'll show you some really advanced examples in a minute, but for now, we'll just focus on the basics. Then we're going to click trust folder and continue. Then it's going to ask us, do you trust the authors? We're going to click yes. And then from here, we can switch between chat and builder. Now, chat basically gives you an unlimited version of Claw 3.5 Sonnet, but the builder is really where you're going to code and build stuff so for example we've got claw 3.5 sonnet selected in the bottom right down here and now we can say okay build a simple to-do list app and the cool thing about this as well that i really like is that you can actually preview the project not just the file or the code but the actual project and the ui inside this section right here i'll show you what that looks like in a second but you can see here how it's, I'm going to help you create a simple to-do list application. I propose building it with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for a straightforward implementation. The app will include these basic features. So it plans out exactly what it's going to build and how it's going to build it. Now it's done the index HTML. Now it's done the CSS. Again, all we did was say build a simple to-do list app. It's going to build out the JavaScript over here. You can review the files as well if you want to. So you can click on review. And again, this is not costing us a penny, all right? If you want the power of AI but you don't want the expenses of AI and you want access to the best API in the world for building projects and coding, which is Claw 3.5 Sonic, then we're good to go. Now from here, we're going to click on accept all on the changes. That's going to build out the project. If you want to preview it, you can say, let me preview this. It's going to start running that on Python, like you can see, so you can click on run. Now we can open that up on web, web preview and boom shakalaka, look at that. We've got the to-do list ready to go. I'm going to put code is cheeky AI agent. Add the task, code a cheeky AI agent, and then we can just add that task to our app, right? Really simple and easy. Now, what I also love about this is it's very similar to Visual Studio Code, if you ever tried that, where on the left-hand side here, you can select between like RuCode or Klein, for example, and you can actually use extensions inside the extension store to install and build whatever you want to. So if we go to client over here, then we can select whichever API we want to use. We can also use the VS Code LM API as well. We can also use Open Router, plug in an API key here and use all the free APIs right there. We've got Ready to Go, which is another one of my favorite coding tools. Or we can just stick with the basic Tray AI on the right hand side. What's also pretty cool about this is we can take a screenshot of say a website and we can use this to clone and build our own version of that website. So if we go back to Tray now, and we'll open up a new folder, and inside the builder section, we're going to plug in the screenshot of our website so you can see the image attached down there. And we'll say, okay, put on this website. Now, so yeah, sure, I'll help you clone this website. Look at the image, it appears to be an SEO link building service website, so it can read images. And so I'm going to start off by creating an index.html site, and it's incredibly easy. You can also, for example, clone GitHub repositories and you can switch between all your previous projects. So you've got the snake game that I created earlier, to-do list, Julian Goldie clone website, really easy to switch between projects and folders down there. And by the way, if you want my best SAPs for this, I'll include it inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description, and all the video notes will be inside this section, along with my best SAPs weekly calls with me, so you can jump on Q&A calls with me, an amazing community of 171 members, and also you can see all of these different courses, right? So if you want to learn, okay, how do you automate videos with AI? You can just click on this section right here. We have tons of training. If you want to automate content and emails, you can. 
If you want to build your own AI agents or do AI SEO automations, all of this is inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with all of my best recipes. This is getting updated every single day, so there's an insane amount of good stuff in there. So now we've built that out. Let's click on accept all. That's good to go. Let's preview it now. And if we zoom out on this website, you can see that it's all fully cloned based on the website and the preview that we gave it, right? You can also preview it in web. So you can go on the web view over here. And if you want to host it, you can just host it on Netlify or something like that. So for example, if we go on this folder, we can right click the files inside tray, and then you would just grab this folder and drag and drop that into Netlify to get it hosted on a live custom domain. Yeah, you can see how easy it is to build, for example, to-do list apps. We built out and cloned my own website. If you go back to the Snape game as well, let's test this out. So we've got it on the live preview over here. Let's test this works and yeah, you can see it's working beautifully. And this is very different as well from, for example, using Grok because these two platforms here, you can't preview the HTML or the full project locally, right? And also if you wanna come back to the files, they're not really going to be saved unless you scroll through all the conversations on Grok or ChatGPT in the history section. Whereas, for example, inside Trey, you can just open up the folder, come back to your old project and just keep building it out. And it's really easy to improve old files and old folders, etc. There's also a Copilot edit section so you can sign in with GitHub and use Copilot as well. And if you just want to build stuff out inside the chat as well, it's pretty easy and simple to do that. So if we go inside here, we can actually just use Claw for free and create our content. So what we can also do is we can actually create articles and content inside the builder section, like you can see with this prompt. And then what it's gonna do is that is actually gonna create the article, like you see, so it's creating article.md. And then once it's done that, we can actually design it as a website afterwards. So we'll accept that. And then we'll say, design it beautifully as a landing page. Here's my brand colors. We'll wait for that to load. So it's created the index, the style CSS. It's updating the landing page structure. And you can go from like article to landing page in literally a few minutes using this process. So here's a full step-by-step SAP if you want to get access to that. Now, if we come back to our project, this is built out now inside Tray. So you can see here, for example, we've got the SEO training Japan landing page. Literally all we did was like ask it to create the content, add a bit more content to the page and then design it with our brand colors. And you can see the whole website is just ready to go right there. Pretty cool. I love the fact that you can preview it as well directly inside the chat. So it's really simple and easy to just get it hosted and test it out and design is super nice, like probably better to design than my own website. Also, if you need some help on creating the actual prompts, I've got a custom GPT called Prompt Forge, like you can see right here, that helps you just plan out your whole project. So if we say, for example, create a cool prompt for Trey, where we build an awesome, beautifully designed, but simple SEO game, we've got the whole prompt ready to go step by step like here. And then if we go into Trey, and we say, okay, here's what I need you to do. It's going to go off and do that. It just looks better. It's more thought out. It's better planned. And that means the project is more likely to go right first time round. Whereas, for example, if you try and translate an idea in your head, sometimes the coding is a bit messy or there's a lot of back and forth and it just costs you loads of time, right? So it's building out the game right now. What we can also do is we can have multiple windows at the same time. And we have that game ready to go inside the chat. So it went off, created the game inside the same project that we created previously. I'm going to create an engaging SEO strategy game. Here's what we're going to do. Basically, you're going to be taking on the role as an SEO agency owner. It's built the game.js, the HTML. We can preview it over here. If anything doesn't work inside it, so for example, like the start game button doesn't seem to be clickable there, we can just ask it to fix that, right? Or you can take a screenshot as well so that the AI can understand. The good thing about coding with Core 3.5 Sonic is that it has vision, right? So it can see what you're talking about. And that just helps to really figure out, okay, how can you fix some of the problems and how can you troubleshoot each stage? Here's another example. So you can also build like Chrome extensions. So this is a tweet by Viola and you can see here, that they've actually built a Chrome extension that just highlights the web page for the key parts, right? So it's Chrome extension for smart text highlighting, basically uses open AIs and custom prompts to highlight like the most important part of the page and manage save pages as well. Really cool what you can do with this. Your only limit is your imagination. And now if we preview this game, you can see it's fixed things. We can click on start game over here and then it tells you exactly what to do and you just go off and start doing it. The other crazy thing here is, of course, as well, is there are other similar tools with very similar UI. So if you look at the user interface of, for example, like Cursor, Cursor is so similar in the way that it's built. Look at the colors and everything like that, but this is limited, right? So you only get a two week trial. Otherwise, if you want unlimited completions, it's $20 per month with Cursor. Whereas if you go to Trey, there doesn't seem to be any limits on this app at all. 
is absolutely wild. The other thing I want to say here is you can just find keywords that people are searching for. So you can use something like address and then just go, I'm going to build a landing page and host that and rank for it on Google, right? So for example, like you could find like keywords that people are typing in on Google around Chrome extensions, build those inside Trey and then rank for them. Additionally, what you could do is you could just type in your industry, then like calculator or tool and find different calculator and tool related keywords that people are searching on Google and then build a website around that. There's a limitless amount of potential to what you could build here, like SEO game as well. So you could change SEO for whatever industry you're in, find what people are searching for, and then build some stuff around that. It's absolutely amazing what you can do. And again, you can do all of this. You can build all of this for free with AI and you don't need to pay for expensive developers anymore. The game has changed, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the SP and step-by-step -step instructions, including all my best SPs on DeepSeek agents and how to make money with them, NA10 agents. We've got full course on DeepSeek, autonomous Gemini agents. If you like coding, we've got stuff on Hub, faceless videos. We have all these modules and training videos right here, along with the Q&A recordings. And if you want to jump on them live with me each week, you can get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom weekly as well. And on top of that, you can just ask the community for help, right? So you can see there's 170 people all doing similar things to you trying to grow their business and make money with AI. This is an awesome tribe of people and you can sign up today. Link in the comments and description. Additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You get a free SEO domination plan. So you get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You will discover the secrets of SEO link building. So you will discover a tried, tested, and proven link building strategy that will help you land more lead sales and customers. And we'll also answer any questions you have. So you can just jump on the call, ask us any questions you have. We're happy to help you with any challenges. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching.